Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is like episode six, Lowcraft. I'm Loma, of course. As you can see by looking behind me, we've had a bit of a accident. You can see over here too. Oh. Yeah, I was sitting here making um, hoppers and um, didn't have doors yet. I just neglected doors. I don't know why. That's usually the first thing you do is you put a door on your house, but I didn't. And I was sitting here making creep, making um, um, hoppers, yeah. And um, creeper kind of came in here and decided it didn't like me. When I came out of making the hopper, I turned around. And there was a creeper and right in front of me, and I, I literally jumped, you know, jumped, and it was moving back at the same time. And I uh, almost ended up up there. I actually hit right there. If it hit me any harder. I'd actually been up there. It was. I wish the guy would have been recording. It would have been amazing to see. But everything's in here. I just got to put it all back together. You know, I didn't realize there was that many things that got blown off. Yeah, there's quite a few. But there's all the stuff that goes with it. So I'll get that lined out before next episode. All I'm doing here is smelting kelp. I went out and harvested my kelp farm again. Oh. I found a, I'll show you this in a minute, but I, I didn't find a fortress, uh, or, yeah, another fortress, and I thought, hey, we'll just take one of these with me, and I'll take the other one and make this little tower here, and I'll put it up there. I'm an idiot, I didn't, this is the first time I've ever made an inner chest, I didn't realize hoppers couldn't react with them, or act, you know, couldn't suck stuff out of them, so now I have two inner chests. So, but anyway, I've collected some dirt. This is all coming from a swamp. I haven't actually found a desert, but that's what's in there. Um, I've been working. Well, we'll get to this over here real quick since you're seeing it now. You see, I've mapped out our current area. This is where we're at. I got a little couple little places I need to fill in the map. See, but this is basically what we're looking at. This is our portal now. We moved it to here. You see I've detreed all of this. This is a wheat farm. That's a wheat farm. That's a tree. But this is our tree farm. But you see I've detreed all of this. You know, this is going to be our kingdom. It's probably going to grow back into here. But we'll see how that goes. But I just wanted you to see this. And uh, after that, this is... I went in the nether. And I went 250 blocks from our nether portal. And made another portal and this one there's something there I don't know what it is this was pretty much all water there's something right there there's no telling what that is okay and then we have this one over here which is west this is where I've actually been collecting my uh, dirt sand and stuff and like right over here is where I'm collecting it it's not actually on the map it's over here but this is a swamp so and then this is south 2,000, right at 2,000 blocks from where we're standing right now. You know, that's a dark oak forest. This is a deep river. This is really high terrain over here. I'm guessing that's lava, a lava flow. Okay, and then this one is north. And I went over here north and I saw this island. I thought, ooh, all that sand, that there might be a, a desert. I went over there and... Um, course it was an island I, I said well I'm gonna make me a map I've got a whole bunch of maps in there and I after I made the map I was looking at it I noticed this and I turned and looked I don't know if you, you you can't really tell from here but that's a guardian thing a monument an ocean monument so we found us an ocean monument and we found another fortress it's um, just past the portal here so it's like maybe three, 350 blocks from our portal. I don't even think it's that far. But yeah, so there's two blaze spawners there and all that good stuff. We've got a little bit of blaze rods. And I've been playing with this and as you see now they're both on their, they're on their correct tracks. And what I did to fix this, let's get down in here, is you see they're running really slow 
But that's because I've spaced these blocks out to where they're going kind of slow. Because I got to thinking, you know, they're coming around these corners so fast, that might be the issue. Because I was noticing, you know, this would come around and when you get to this corner, you'd see it bounce around a little bit and then it would get on track and go. Same thing was happening on the inside one. It would come around this corner and jiggy jiggy and then go. So I decided, well, let's try this. You know, my first idea was I was having trouble. It would come, the cart would come by, drop two items off and keep going. So I put more hoppers up here so it would suck more out as it went by. Slowed down the hop, the carts, of course. And then, you know, it seems to be working better. The stuff picks up up there a lot faster. A lot more, it comes in here a lot faster, which means it's a lot faster. So let's get out of here before the train comes back. But other than that, it seems to be working now. And we'll show you, I've started decorating up down in here a little bit. Not much. I've just basic, done a few basics. I got rid of the item frames. That's where 16 of those item frames over there came from. But I kind of like this. This is our, any we collect when we're doing this, we can toss in there. Come down here, we got the, grab the parts out of the box chest. I should put a stair up there. Might, might look a little better with a stair up there. But um, I put a stair here and it, I, it just didn't look right. I put a slab there, it still didn't look right. This is about the best I think I can. It's the best it looks to me. Okay, this is a small, narrow room. There's really not much we can do in here. But we do have right at two, a little over two stacks of wool of every one of these colors now. So, um, still going to be working on this. This is just uh, getting the basics set up. Um, see, I've leveled all of this off. I actually took a couple layers off of this. Um, as we showed you, I took the trees out. I made a, what I've been doing is go down here and just chopping up the long kelp. Well, this last time I actually chopped up some kelp, I came down here and set up this section. So, kelp's going to come in faster. Ooh, a chest. Let's see, let's get that dirt off, or that sand off of it. Have you guys seen the sand, the new sand and the new snapshot? Ooh, a map. Yes. We've been wanting one of those. But uh, the sand is pink. I don't like it. A lot of people do. I mean, the actual texture of the sand itself is good. Ooh. But there's a dirt block there sandbox the actual texture of the sand itself I like it but the color is horrible I so hope they don't go with the color I don't mind the texture like I said the, the texture of the dirt itself is fine the new dirt you know it's probably as good as this I mean I'm running a, a pack so you know I will turn off the pack whenever the new textures drop and all that stuff but you know it's just I don't know what you guys think. A lot of the textures are okay, but some of them are just like, wow, really? Why did you do that? Why does dirt turn pink? Or sand? Why is sand all of a sudden pink? It changes the whole look of the desert. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, um, I've started this over here. This is where my stored silos are going to be. Basic silo. The base of it takes up this much space. You know what? Um, takes us three by three and then two extra? No. Yeah, three by three and then three extra to make the, the whole base. But once you get past that bottom section, it's just three by three all the way up. So we're going to work with that. Um, I started thinking this spacing would be okay. But now I'm leaning more towards this spacing. You know, that's, you know, so I'm thinking this is going to be it. I'm going to play with it a little bit. This will have to be filled in. See, I've lit it up down there a little bit, or lit it up down there a little bit. It's starting to get dark. Better go sleep. 
but these are going to be 10 tall you know this is going to be the floor ground level and then there's going to be 10 lights well this is actually 12 or 14 tall or something like that but you know I was just wanting to get a general okay that's how it's going to be you know one of those type situations but let me sleep here but before we get into that let's I don't want to dump it in that chest let's dump it in this chest uh, no we're going to dump it in this chest out here for next episode I'll get this sorted back out again but we're going to take put this in this chest and we're going to go do this because I really oh wow you see where that's at what's up with all these other lines on here anyway let's go get that because I really want to get that uh, what's it called the heart of the sea thing conduit I want to get a conduit built up out there so basically it's looks like it's going to be in the water okay these brown lines must be water on the map itself so okay where are we at almost there the turtle's gone out of my boat straight forward looks like right in here okay, I'm gonna say right in there now isn't this supposed to be in the sand Could have swore this is supposed to be in the sand. Let's get our map again. Okay. There it is. Sweet. There we go. Got my axe on me? No, I don't. So let's just break this. And I'm gonna to have to fix this eventually. So now I have that, I can make a heart of the sea now. So that's cool. So I want to kind of keep this terrain around here looking not beat up. And also, I've got something else to show you. When I was in the swamp, I happened on some drowns. And, you know, I've killed, I think, six drowns, maybe eight at the most. And I've ran across one, no, two that had a trident. But I got one. Where'd I put it? Let's put this stuff in here. This is just my catch-all chest for now. Cooked cod. We're gonna keep that heart of the sea. We'll put that in there. Okay, maybe. Let's see. This one. Yeah. See, look, I gotta try to. Hoorah! So, we'll have to get that s souped up soon and all. But what we were wanting to work on today, I need a house. I don't want to live in the storage room. Nobody wants to live in the storage room. And we have all of this. So, we're going to make an oak house. The only difference is, I need some glass because I like windows. So, let's get... Two stacks minus eight. And we'll put 
those eight in there. No, we'll just put them up here. Okay, now we'll go in here, take the kelp out, put that in. Take the kelp out, put that in. That'll get us quite a bit of glass. So, um, sits in here. Do I have any extra tables? Yep, look, there's one. Made us, what, 10 of them one day? <laughs> On accident, I meant to make chests or something. I made a bunch of those, so I've got a few extras. But let's get this up there. I want to go. It's. We're just gonna do a basic layout. This is gonna go. So, but we're gonna leave it there for now. Actually, it's right in my way. Yeah, it's in my way. So, I guess we're taking this down today. Made me a new shovel. If you didn't notice, probably didn't. I broke the other one. I no longer have fortune on this shovel. So, which is a good thing in my opinion. Dirt. Give me that dirt. There we go. I want to put the dirt back. There we go. Okay. So here's where I want my house. Go ahead and take those. But basically, let's go ahead and get a stack of that because we're going to need it. Um, we're going to have a house here. It's going to be decently sized, I guess. Yeah, let's go out this way. things one two three it's 14 I don't want to go 14 guess we should go grab my axe but yeah we'll get that we'll get an axe in a second 14 13 I mean we're gonna go Too many again. I'm just building the basic shape here, guys, so don't fret too much. Okay, there's one part of it. As I said, this is not the final shape. This is just me throwing down some shapes. I was watching Wells Knight, and he tends to like to throw down these weird shapes and then work with them. So this section, that was 13. By seven, yeah, thirteen by seven. So if I do another thirteen by seven, seven, eight. Seven, and we'll take this one back over here. I'm 
not liking it. This is not what I had in my head. About if we I've got an idea. Let me go get an axe. I'll be right back. I need to sleep anyway. Okay, I have my axe. Let's trim this down a little bit. Let's see. Go by five here. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go this way here. This is going to be shortened up as well. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't like counting these blocks. One, two, three. Yep, that's it. can go let's go up and see what that looks like from above that's better that is better I like that better I think I want to sink it down into the ground here, though. I think I want it down one more layer. Yeah, definitely. So let's do this. Want it down another layer, maybe? I think I'm going to go down one more layer below that even. all this extra dirt in our hands. I kind of like these faster tools, except when I'm trying to dig a specific thing in the ground with my shovel, and it gets a little annoying. Nothing we can't deal with, but it does get annoying. Let's get this shoveled out here. Oh, wrong button. There we go. This needs to stay filled in. Okay, now these need to come out.
don't think that's going to get us. That'll be the floor. ocean and collect a bunch of gravel but who wants to do that we we'll definitely want to light this up though I do not want to come in my house and not be able to sleep because of spawns well, how do we get out of here here's where we get out another gravel I don't want to take that okay now back to this haven't guessed I'm not the most adept builder out there half the time I don't build or I build but I don't build for looks I just build for I want it to look good you know so or not look good but I want it to function well that's the better term so let's go ahead and get rid of these two sections see what I mean I hate the shovels when they do that time I think we're about out of time let's check that real quick yeah we're running pretty late on time so I guess we'll come back and finish this up in the next episode or how about I finish it up yeah we'll finish this up in the next episode and I'll I'll do a little bit of layout work between episodes and we'll kind of go from there. This is my basic layout. It's just going to be my house. You'll see once it's done how it, you know, everything about it. I've got some ideas here, some things I've never done before. And I want to try to figure out, we're going to try to figure it out. That's why I want to do it with you guys here. Because I want to try to figure out how to do this. And let you guys watch me derp it up. Because everybody likes to watch the Loma derp. Yep. Even I like to watch the Loma derp. So... <laughs> But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please hit that like and subscribe button and all that good stuff. Tell all your friends to come watch the best YouTuber out there. You know, Loma. Loma. Everybody knows. Yeah. Um, excuse this derpiness. We all got to learn some things sometimes, right? But um, next couple episodes, I'm going to figure out what I want to throw here so I can figure out how many of these towers I'm going to need. I'm thinking obvious um, stone, gravel, dirt, sand, um, redstone I want over there, coal I want over there. Yeah, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to go through my storage area and make a list of stuff I want over there. I'm thinking about definitely redstone. You know, but we'll figure it out. There's a few things I do want over there a few things I don't like our string we're not going to make a big tower for the string because I've got that over there so you know if I need any of that I run over and grab a couple chests full bring it back and my area is stopped so but the stuff we get masses of amounts of I want to put it over here in this I want to have a way where we can you know come in here drop it all in a chest here and it gets sorted into all of these bins but, you know, we all know how these silos work. 
the main part of it is getting it to look the way I want it to look and to function correctly. That's the key. I'm not a redstone genius, so just because I envision it in my head doesn't mean it's going to work that way in the world. So, but thanks for watching, everyone. Later, later, later.